That's good for you. <laughs>
Oh my god! Wow, look at that baby! That just moved on its own. There's actually another one. Do I get you? Okay, inspect. Okay, cute found. I'll put that right here. Okay, it's really dark down here. I don't know. Alright. Okay, pretty odd. Pretty odd, I don't know. Why did this video play? I can hear that! Really weird. Oh! 627! Oh, okay, I get it! It knows my real time here! Alright then. Okay, so I'm playing this game at 627. Oh, that, it really knows my time, Jesus! Okay, what's this here? The Smiley Killer. Okay, it is publicly executed for the gruesome murder of 66 young children, also known as a Smiley Creeper. The legend says the Smiley Killer, commonly known as the Smiley Creeper, was a psychopathic serial killer believed to have killed and eaten 66 young children. He was caught and publicly burned alive by local village residents after one girl escaped his dungeon that he had built for his victims. Many say that he was burning alive at the stake. He was laughing and smiling at the young girl and had escaped his dungeon. According to the legend, it, it is said that the smiling creeper has continued his loss for killing young children whilst they are sleeping. Finding the smiling creeper? No one really knows what summons the smiling creeper, but it is said that he will come to you while you are sleeping. Some say that if you leave the window open at night, you are inviting the Smiling Creeper to come to you at night during your sleep. It is commonly stated that the Smiling Creeper does not like to be seen and will only move when no one else can see him. According to stories, the Smiling Creeper is also known to laugh and smile at his victims. Well, he stalks them. Oh, wow, this... It's just like the Boogeyman, or the Slender, or, no, not Slender, SCP! Wow, everything's really turned on. There's a lot of light switches here in this house. Okay, there's actually something here. Okay, the bathroom knocker awaits those who ask if she is there. The legend says the bathroom knocker is a popular and widespread urban legend. Often played by children as a rite of courage, Similar to the Bloody Mary urban legend in Western culture, every child has a story to tell. The stories, of course, are many and varied, but every child at one time or another has stood in dread and anticipation as he or she ventured into the bathroom at night alone. Summoning the bathroom knocker, according to the stories, a person who goes to the bathroom at 3 o'clock a.m. and knocks three times before asking, Are you there? will hear a voice answer, I'm here. If the person chooses to enter the bathroom, there will be a small girl waiting inside. Summoning the bathroom knocker continued. According to the legend of the bathroom knocker, what happens next will vary depending on the person who knocks on the door. Sometimes a hand will bust through the door and drag the person into the bathroom and kill them. Usually, through the, though, after the pause, the bathroom door will open just a slight a bit. Then, if the person is brave enough, when they will be, then when they will be able to push the door open, revealing the ba bathroom door, the bathroom knocker itself. Those that start the summoning but fail to complete it have also been reported to have been killed or missing ever since. So, all right, got things ready. That is the dining room area. Shit! I almost forgot. I, I lost the door handle I was fixing in the workshop somewhere. I left the keys to the workshop in the kitchen drawer. So if you get a chance, can you try find it for me? L kisses and hogs. Okay then. I'm not exactly sure if there is actually the keys to the workshop in the kitchen drawer. Maybe, yeah, I think there is that. Uh, no, let's exit out. So the kitchen drawer, oh, what is that? Oh, a tray? Okay, that's weird. Okay, let me open the drawers. Oh, that was the first try! We're, we're workshop key found. That's awesome. Okay, let me take it. And press time to view. Okay, the workshop key. There's actually a skull that I, that I got from before, but I, but I think it's here in this room. The 
There's something else over there. What is this? You have unlocked a workshop! Cool! Okay, let me try to get the skull first. Okay, skull ornament found! Alright. I just want to know if there was something else over there. Maybe let's go this way. That's the living room! Oh, here we are, the living room. There is a book about it. The Darkness. Page one of two. Not much is known about the darkness and is seen by very few people. Uh, what is the darkness? The darkness has been seen by very few people than probably any other entity that one can imagine. As a result, it is also one of the most misunderstood phenomenon known to us. Legend says it seems to come out mostly at night and usually hides in dark corners of hallways. It is not certain what exactly the, uh, the darkness is. Sometimes it is explained as spirits uh, that are earthbound who refuse the light and afraid of what waits for them on the other side. The others have described it as the let other shadows uh, from all the evil souls that have been sent to hell, trying to consume more innocent lives to take with them. Summon in the darkness, it, it will only make its presence known when the surrounding area is covered in dark shadows. Okay, what is this? Whoa, this is a garage. What am I supposed to do in here? Oh, so X is like a... Oh, so the cross is like a flashlight. Okay, that makes sense now. That makes sense now, all right. I don't know. Oh, there's something else down here. Oh, the door handle found. Oh, I can use it. Yeah, okay, I did not know that that door handle was on under the bucket. Okay, so the bucket it is, I got the doorknob. So I can finally find something. That's, that's for the key, I think. Okay, the small bell. I, I, thank you, I can take it. Let me try one. Each one is different. This hole has a square peg. Okay, there is actually... Hmm, a hole with a triangle peg in the middle. And the last one, this one has a hole with a round peg in the middle. There is a rope. Or no, it's a snake. Oh, a snake symbol. Maybe this one. Oh, yes, it is for this master room. Yes. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. Is anyone in the master room? Oh my god, okay, you can look through the keyhole. That's really weird. A spider symbol. Spider symbol, okay. Alright, closing that in. Try the other one. There's also nothing here. That's the bathroom. There was another bathroom here. But it's only in the master room. Master room. Oh god, the toilet! Toilets! Oh dear, okay, you flushed the toilet. That's good for you. <laughs> Holy fucking hell! What the fuck was that? <gasps> what is this? Who are you? Is that a ghost? It's a ghost, isn't it? I don't think that looks like a ghost. Okay. We move the boxes. Ha! <gasps> ah! Ah, there's a bug. I did not know it was like in and under the boxes. Checkpoint reach. Oh, cool. Okay, there we go. That's what we did. Okay, the legend of Bloody Mary. So, an urban legend that says that anyone who chants the word Bloody Mary three times in front of the mirror will summon the vengeful spirit. So, it's just like in Paranormal Activity 3. 
I think it is the third one. Okay, the legend Bloody Mary is a fourth folklore legend consisting of the ghost, phantom, or spirit conjured to reveal the future. She's said to appear in the mirror when her name is called three times. The Bloody Mary apparition may be begin benign or malevolent, malevolent, depending on historic variations of the legend. The Bloody Mary appearances are mostly witnessed in group participation play. The ritual historically, the ritual encouraged young women to walk up a, a flight of stairs backwards while holding the candle and the hand and the hand mirror in the in the darkened house. As they gaze into the mirror, they were supposed to be able to catch a view of their future husband's face. There was, however, a chance that would see a skull or the face of a grim reaper instead indicating that they were destined to die before they would have the chance to marry. Ritual continued. In the ritual of today, Bloody Mary allegedly, allegedly appears to individuals or groups who ritualistically invoke her name in an act of catapromancy. This is done by repeatedly chanting her name in the mirror three times near the source of light. When the nearby light is turned off, uh, the Bloody Mary apparition allegedly appears as a corpse, a witch, or a ghost. Can be friendly or evil, and is sometimes seen covered in blood. The lore surrounding the ritual states that participants may endure the apparition screaming at them, cursing them, strangling them, stealing their soul, drinking their blood, or scratching their eyes out. Bloody Mary, don't do this. Ah, I guess Bloody Mary really is just an urban myth. Oh! Did I find, did I find a solution for that? Oh! Okay. Did I reach... Oh, it's 7 o'clock! Jesus! I did not know this could happen. Oh! Oh, okay! Oh, okay. oh! Oh! Whoa! What is all this? Okay, okay. All right, this really turned hard. Oh dear. Wow, looks so like everything really changed. Okay, okay. Let's see what you're doing now. Shit. Huh? What was that? Oh my God, what? Who left this in there? Isn't that something I... <gasps> okay! Alright, no thank you! Oh, the door is unlocked, thank you! Thank you! Oh shit! Oh dear, what's going on? Okay, the chains, the chains! What is happening here? Okay, down here we go. Down here. Oh my god. Now what has happened here? I do not like that. I don't like that. I... <gasps> Whoa, what was that? Hey, hey, cut that out. I just got here. Okay, what is this, a book? I haven't read that. Lucid dreaming has been known for centuries. Oh, so the benefits of it, okay. What is a lucid dream? Lucid dream is a dream during which uh, the dreamer is aware of dreaming. During the lucid dreaming, uh, the dreamer may be able to exert some degree of control over, over the dream characters. Narrative and environment. How to have a lucid dream, there are many ways to have a lucid dream, but one method is by forcing yourself to sleep through self-hypnosis. To perform self-hypnosis, you must be seated in a relaxed position. Have a metronome pre uh, present and begin listening to the repeating beats it, it, may it makes. Once you are ready to fall into the lucid dream, play a soothing piece of music <gasps> to complete the procedure. What now? Oh, I hear it! 
Oh, you're in. Something coming up from the stairs. That's a TV. Isn't that a TV? I did not know we have a TV here. What is this? Okay, that is... I've never seen here. I've never seen something. <laughs> oh, the rope! Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what the hell? Okay, I can climb up. Okay, I can climb up. Oh, you press space. Okay, you press space. To get out of the rope. That's useful. Okay, here we are. The record player. Yep, the record found. Okay, now I think... <laughs> All right, I guess I can actually climb down again, right? Okay. All right, I think there's actually nothing here. Maybe I'll try this triangle here. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh my God, why? That is some dead monster, I think. Oh, yes! Yes! Okay, the toy cube. Found that. Hey, quit it. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm done, Mom. I guess I gotta go. Thank you so much for watching this video. How was Dungeon Nightmares 3? I should pick up more next time. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, stay 100% cooler, be ready for the real action. We will see you then very, very soon. Goodbye, everyone.